So it's probably this. Sure, let's go there. We should quick save. Oh, why is there a bloom here? Okay, it's not it's not there anymore. I'm off. Bandits. Oh a box. That's not a box, that's a sarcophagus. I'll be damned, something happened. Oh, these are new strangers. I bet they want to take away our loot. They're messing with the wrong men. Uh, you're just bandits. Ah, uh, test of my abilities. Necromancer. Let's right. kill the necromancers first. Also, do be raging, please. Yeah, you don't need to be raging anymore. This and there was two hidden loots. Ooh, Cypress Queen's Quill. Okay. Silver Eel, sure. That's probably something locked, maybe. Done and done. Ooh, scimitar, slicer. What's the slicer? It's a plus two runic mage blade. I'm there. How was a runic mage blade? When you touch, when you have a touch spell charged, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. Um. I mean, what does it mean to have a touch spell charged? I'm gonna equip it because, I mean, it's a plus two instead of a plus one. This one's keen, but it's okay. Um, like, I, I can actually just do a touch spell here. Maybe. Do I have a touch spell? I probably don't have a touch spell, do I? It's fine. It's a plus two weapon. Potion of full strength. Bark skin. It's a lot of potions. Do we want to open this box? I mean, we have to do something with it. Religion or arcana? This isn't going to be a problem. Water and sludge drip from this huge stone block, which has obviously been dredged from the lake bottom recently. On closer examination, it looks like a huge chest, or rather a sarcophagus. One side bears an engraved symbol, a skull with a single eye socket, and the eye socket is covered with a coin. Uh, you know what? Inspire competence, please. You have to roll five, Adam. Of course you failed. Useless. Of course you failed. What? Ah. You got 80% chance to succeed. No, 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 no. That's not enough. How much did he actually uh, roll? He rolled a four. The end draws near. Okay, the engraving on the side of the sarcophagus resembles the symbol of Charon, the horseman of death. But Charon's symbol usually has two eye sockets, each covered by a coin, while the symbol here has only one, because it's a cyclops. There's nothing more you can tell about the sarcophagus, except that it's ancient. Is there any magic? Magic presence here is obvious. You can sense powerful necromancy energy. 
We can figure out the specific spells in use here. Let's search for a keyhole or easier means to open the sarcophagus. We have no idea where the sarcophagus came from. But you have know enough about enchantments to know there's an easy way to open it. Experimenting with engravings in various combinations, you discover when you press your finger against the skull symbol with your hand on the lid, the cover slides aside easily. Your triumph is short-lived, however. As the lid slides open, there is the sound of something, something huge, stirring within the sarcophagus. You hear a rattling whistle like air pushed through a leaky bellows, and scraps of flesh fly from the sarcophagus. Whatever inside is huge, angry, and far from dead. It's an undead cyclops. And here, of course, he also, uh... Their life ends here! He also did that. You know what? Screw you, Undead. I can do this. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, we got... We got prey, yeah? Let us yeah! We, we destroyed these two dudes, but... Oh, no! Don't do this! That's gonna suck. Whatever, it's fine. Wait, Lindsay's here? No, Lindsay, you have to go away. That was dumb. Inspire, inspire competence, please. Okay, Octavia and Amiri. How long are you gonna be afraid? For a minute. Whatever, this guy's this guy's dead. So. Okay. Um. You don't have to inspire confidence anymore. Repent. Are you still have? Do you still have this active? No. How long is it going to last? Masterwork Scimitar, okay. These boats were obviously pulled ashore recently. Inside them are hooks, pivots, and other tools that would be needed to recover things from under the water. In due time. Thick skinned dread zombie cyclops. A great axe was one. Just that? That's kind of. That's kind of weak. Axe and crates filled with various goods obviously belong to some merchants before making their way here. Many of them are spotted with blood. Anything is possible. Okay, you can uh, drink a few potions, why not? Well, at least we killed the uh, young dead, yeah. I see something. Oh, hey, that's a thing. Island notes. That's a lot of notes. I would probably read it if I was by myself, but I'm not. I mean, if I if I was playing for myself, and it wouldn't take like 15 minutes to actually read through it and interpret it. It's fine. I guess it makes sense to go back to the dryad here. Ayo! You're back! Did you take care of that box? Yeah! The, the problem solved. There was a monster in the box, a cyclops, but he's dead now. More dead than he was before. The Nixie throws her hands up in joy. You did it! I have to tell my family as soon as possible. Once I tell them what you did, they'll understand that not all strangers are bad. A cyclops, huh? I doubt any of us could have dealt with that. I'd say you earned yourself a reward. Gold ring, peridot, and uh, some gold pieces. We need 50,000 experience points to level up.
I do what I must. I actually thought this would be uh, something to do with Hello. something to do with uh... why fortune to say you have delayed poison Oh, she got confused. Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a dude here. Okay. He's laughing over tongue. She's got the best jokes, I guess. She did. Excuse me. What were you doing, Adam? What's this? Kama. Talon of the Wise. Come up with two agile finesse wielding monk weapon. What does it mean that it's a monk weapon? I guess every camo is a monk weapon. Yo, a little bit harder. I'm off. Yeah. Villager, villager, villager. I'm looking for a villager with a name, though. Done and done. What's this? Fishing tackle is neatly packed and dry. Obviously, hasn't been used recently. I did as you asked. More eels. Grilled silver eel. Lidica, that's the one person with a name. Brevis too. Okay, okay. My search was Hello. not in vain. I did as you asked. Ooh. Amulets plus natural on plus two. Okay. Okay, okay. Aso. So there's three people with names in this whole village. No one else has a name. Oh wait, there's something. Okay. Let's talk to him. Hello Aso. What's up? What you doing? Already faced villager waves to you cheerfully. Hello there, traveller. A good day to you, a good day to us all. The Silver Dragon himself turned the day into a feast for us all. And why, you might ask? All because I forgot my fishing gloves at home. How does that work? Also, I think the developers made you, made you able to be just chaotic stupid. And, like, almost everyone, you can just straight up attack. And that's it. Okay. Who are you? I'm Aesil, a fisherman. I mean, I was a fisherman when I did fishing. I don't fish now, so I guess I'm not a fisherman anymore. He frowns as he thinks about the paradox. A dragon, a feast? What's going on here? I'm telling you, I went fishing, but I left my fishing gloves at home. So, so I blistered my hands pulling out the nets, so? So I couldn't fish anymore, so, so, so I had to go hungry. I had to, but didn't, because fish just started jumping out of the water. So, so a great silver dragon took care of me. He must have been watching, thinking, How will the spool swords Aesil get by with his blistered hands? How will he fish? What will he eat? Now about I send some fish ashore for him? 
Now I, I think I'll never bring my fishing gloves again, so... So fish will always jump out of the lake on their own. This guy is actually pretty dumb. Okay, tell me about your fish situation. <laughs> Just got to go to the shore and see for yourself. They jump right out of the water. We can barely keep up with collecting and salting them. We made three barrels since the morning dawned. And our barrels are really big, not just any normal barrels. He puffs his chest. Tell me about this dragon of yours. Well, he's a... he's a huge dragon. A silver one. It's why he's called the Silver Dragon. He's very kind and always helps us. A lake is one of his footprints. Filled with water. That's how he got... we got the... wait, really? I mean, it does look like a footprint, but... what? That's how we got a lake. I've got one of his scales. In my, it's my lucky charm. He probably holds up a scale held by a string around his neck. Either give it to me. Uh, you can search around for him. Maybe he'll give you one too. Okay. Have you ever seen this dragon with your own eyes? Sure did. Day before yesterday. Two months ago too. Burvis. The trader says I'm a fool and it was just a thundercloud. But you shouldn't listen to him. So what did the dragon do to help you? He sent Iva to us. Well, not sent, really. Iva was here before. But he was only a hunter, not a dragon's voice. When Iva became the dragon's voice, everything got better all at once. Most of the bandits disappeared from the roads. Monsters stopped attacking uh, us in the woods, and uh, wolves don't ever take uh, our cattle anymore. And now there's fish on top of, uh, to top it all. Yeah, this little dragon is the best dragon ever. Dragons that are huge don't exist. Maybe not in other places. Maybe our dragons is one of a kind. Okay. And yeah, above this hunter, Iva, was it? Yeah, he's a good fellow. Do you know where he is? He probably went to that grove up north again. That's where his children's graves are. Sometimes he'll disappear for several days at a time and he won't tell anyone where he goes. But I know anyway. Silver step rope. Okay. Who is he? He's the dragon's voice. The silver dragon tells him things. Ten then Arva tells us. Like when the dragon chased the wolves from our herd. He told Ivor and Ivor told us. And when he scared the monsters away so they wouldn't attack us. He told Ivor too. We get all kinds of good news from Ivor. Something terrible happened to him, didn't it? Why do you have to remind me of that? Ivor, he wasn't a dragon's voice before. He just used to live here, in a house to the northwest. He used to go hunting and tell us all kinds of stories, like a real bard would. Had a family too, but, uh... Well, one night his kids ran away, tried to climb on top of a cliff in the middle of the night. And it was a bad night, rainy and dark. They fell down. As far as anyone could tell, the boy probably slipped first. And the girl tried to help him, but she couldn't. She fell too, farther away. I helped search for them the next morning, then helped bury them. Lisa, Ivor's wife, got sick right after and never recovered. And Ivor, well, he went odd. That's when the silver dragon started talking to him. Why are you telling me that his house is in the uh, northwest when it's the northeast? Hey, I'm your baron. That's great, I think. You know what? You should talk to Iva first. You can ask the Silver Dragon's opinion on the greatness of that. Iva's an important person here, and the dragon's even more important. What if he doesn't want some strange baron baroning around here? Okay, I need to tell you something about the fish and the dragon. I could talk about the dragon all day. Yeah, the fish were jumping ashore because of an ancient sarcophagus. The Nixies accidentally drowned in the lake. The Nixies lied to you, they, they're fey. So what do you expect? But Ivor told me about the dragon. Not the fish, though. Just that the dragon is protecting us. But I know Ivor well. Ivor doesn't lie. The Cyclops is dead and the village is safe. So what then? The fish won't jump ashore anymore? That's too bad. Can we get another Cyclops from somewhere then? Well, this guy is really dumb. <laughs> okay. Brevis, hello. Welcome to Brevis' roadside shop. Judging from his accent and his fine clothes, this trader isn't from around here. Can I see your words? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Do I want to keep this plus one? What do we actually have? Nunchaku. Ah, oh, because it's a because these are exotic weapons, but a monk, because it's a monk weapon, can use it without any penalties. Okay, okay. Beacon, what's that? Huh, that's interesting. Actually, Valerie, what's your weapon that you have? You have a plus three mace. Yeah, that's a pretty good weapon for you. That's a good weapon for you. What's causing all the fuss around here? You mean those fish jumping ashore? He frowns. His fools believe it's thanks to their patron, the Silver Dragon. He supposedly decided to provide the villagers with a feast and sent them this gift. Idiots. I don't know the real reason these fish are jumping, but if it were me, I wouldn't get too close to the fish or the lake. That's actually smart. Who's in charge here? Ivar. He's a resourceful one. To be sure. Made the whole area believe he's some chosen one. The spokesman for the Silver Dragon. The idiots around here listen to everything he says and do whatever he asks. It's strange, though. After this Ivor fellow came to the village with his sack of silver scales and his ridiculous stories about a silver dragon, things in the area started to change. There was this wolf pack used to cut through the local cattle like housewife cuts through vegetables. After Ivor got here, the wolves wouldn't even come close to the local cows. Same with monsters in the woods. They don't take step, step one towards the uh, village or its people. It's all pretty strange, if you ask me. Very strange indeed. I'm surprised to see a trader here. I usually buy hides from the local hunters, but sometimes they come up with some rather intriguing trophies. No wonder. Though, considering the number of different beasts living in the, these woods. Yeah, this looks more like a robber's loot. His face goes blank. I'm sure I have no idea what you just what you mean, your grace. This is all pretty standard trade around these parts. You know, it's totally unrelated. I just realized I haven't had an opportunity before to offer a donation to help support your barony. Those like him think anything can be bought. Even laws and rules. Rulers. Don't be evil. So, sure, of course, yes. Do you believe he will keep his word? Though on second thought, I know how convincing you can be. Yeah, I'm very convincing, Valerie. Okay, Lady Gal, what's up? My goat's such a dog. He puts the moves on the headman's mare. Okay. Wait. I think there's a, something we haven't checked here. Interesting. Aha! Not what I actually expected, but that's fine. Oh, there's another thing. Where is it? What do you see and where? This? I don't think that was this. It's fine. I see something. A perception. Anything else? Footprints lead to an inconspicuous animal path that leads deeper into the woods. In due time. Oh. I'm guessing this is uh, to tell me. That there's there's something happening there with Ivar. Yeah, the silver stuff, bro. 
Sure. Let's actually go here. Ancient mine. How are we supposed to get here? I need to catch my breath. Uh if it's just you, I don't care. Seems like a rather small area. Just in case... Okay, for now I'm not gonna cast the spell, but if, if we're gonna be fighting some kind of fake silver dragon... You should have run! Oh, shoot! Can someone help me? Strike! Here you attack here. Here you attack here, yeah. Don't hold back! This dude has a lot of health. Can you? Very nice. Follow if you dare. Oh, the dude could be a werewolf. That's why the wolves wouldn't be attacking here. Not sure where he would get the uh Not sure where he would get the uh I'm there. The silver scales from. Oi, what you doing here? Here I am. Don't hesitate. See. How are you doing here? Don't come closer. Don't. How can I stop it? It's a strong. Too strong. Yeah, he's a werewolf. We will prevail. I totally expected that. Yeah, I knew it. Wait, we should probably swap our weapon to the cold iron. Because he's a werewolf, so... Wait, that's not that's not a sneak attack. I was not not a sneak attack. This will hurt. Everyone murdered. What is good? Oh, silver, not... I forgot. It's fine. Uh, is he evil, though? He's actually good. Which I guess makes sense. So if I wanted to do this, we need to make my weapon axiomatic. <laughs> I guess we didn't have to do it. The werewolf's powerful body shrinks and contorts. The beastly features transform into the face of Ivar, the hunter. There are deep wounds all over his body. So this is how it finally ends. Lawful neutral is just kill him. Because he's a werewolf. Tell me the truth about what happened to you. Let it be my last fairy tale then. Once upon a time, there lived a stupid young hunter named Ivar. He loved his family, his wife, his son, his little daughter, very much. He also loved making up fairy tales for his children, but one night, he came up with a foolish story. One about a silver dragon that can only be spotted if you climb to the top of a cliff, as the new moon rises. That very night, the children snuck out, in the uh, out of the house, and their bodies were found at the base of a cliff next morning. His poor wife's heart couldn't bear the loss. Lisa, she was gone soon after. So Ivar cursed himself. 
cursed his own blabbering tongue and reckless mind. Standing near the graves of his family, he could only mutter to himself over and over, I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Then he felt the self-inflicted curse begin to melt him from the inside, burning him, turning him into a beast. He became a werewolf, swore to protect the village to honor the memory of Lisa and his children. He wanted to serve people, to bring them good instead of evil, at least once. Anger and pain invited the beast's soul into a human heart. Uh, when I was a kid, the old crones talked about something like this. I thought it was just a fairy tale, though. Okay, why not work for me then? Lay down the title of Dragon's Voice and become the Baron's Voice of the people. Sorry, Baron, but no. I'm not interested in working for anyone else besides. The village would never accept me if they learned who I really am. So please just finish me off or let me go. My choice is yours. Okay, if I spare you, what do you do? I stopped looking for the future long ago. But I don't think I belong here anymore. Especially if people discovered the truth. Were you to spare my life, I'd leave. Leave and try to find a new reason to leave. live. How did exactly did you serve the people? There's always someone trying to take from the villagers, be it their property or their lives. Many's the villain who's, be uh, who's become food for worms in, in the nearby woods. The only danger I haven't gained much ground against is a gang holed up in a nearby cave. I started hunting them, but it seems I've run out of time to finish the job. Tell me about them. Planning to visit. The gang's not big, but they're well trained. They're very familiar with the woods around here. They made a den in one of the caves to the west, near the lake. It isn't far. Okay. I've heard enough, so I won't kill you. He stands, holding the wound on his side. I was not expecting mercy, but I'm certainly grateful for it. Thank you for giving him a chance. I, I hear there's a cure for lycanthropy. Good, good luck to you, Ivar. Or go and try to forgive yourself if you can. A word in parting, if I may, Baron. Consider it my werewolf instinct talking. I can tell you'll be the subject of stories and legends yourself soon. And I'm sure they'll be told far and wide across the land. Now, whether there'll be tales of terror or hope, well, that'll be up to you. I'll make sure of that, Lindsay smiles. And you're sorry, it won't be forgotten, I promise. Two small graves hide at the foot of a rock. Wooden grave markers, whittled and painted with love and care, are placed at the top of both. Have we gone here? Mm -hmm. What about up here? Oh, so nothing. Okay. I thought we can get there because it's. I kind of thought maybe this is going to be, you know. In the square, but I guess the square ends here, and this is just an object that's tall. We're good, we're fine. The bandits to the west, huh? My breath. You need to catch your breath. You know what? I'm gonna go to the ancient mine. Do we wanna go here somehow? I guess we have to go like like this. Or like this. Sure. Let's uh let's rest. Armor must be sturdy and heavy. The heavier, the better. Eh. 
And if there's a good shield to add to the armor, then you feel like a whole fortress, not just a fighter. And hey, if you had two shields, you would be even more of a fortress. Spoiled the meal. That's fine. Oh, stuff has happened. Uh, sure. Let's actually see what's up here. I don't think anything uh, happened. It's probably an event that ha appeared. Oh, we can claim this. It's still 400 build points, though. I guess that, that quest was what we needed there. I wonder what we need to do here in the northern Gnarl Marshes. What's up with this? So this is where the bandits are, huh? You know what? If this is where the bandits are, let's be using this. Let's say cave. This is this is a mine, but so. Uh... Oh wait, that's Consider not what it. Me. That's not what I thought it would be. Amulets of uh, natural armor plus two. Property of the House of Trestrin. Wait, this is this is just this. So maybe the bandits he was talking about were the ones with the cyclops. Uh, the cyclops got them, probably. Okay. Uh, we actually do have two amulets of natural armor plus two. Does anyone need an upgrade here? Two dodge bonus. He already has natural armor from something, does he? Yeah. Okay then. Uh, it's quicker to go this way, huh? Or is it just because we don't know about this passage here? Four hours. Four hours. Now we go, we go this way. We're gonna be slow here. Oh, hello! Oh no, is it an actual, is it an actual silver dragon? Bolden is clearing. Everywhere I go. Oh, just because I have two everything. of these, I'm gonna cast that it. People say it was better before I arrived. In case someone wants to poison me. I hear someone coughing. In due time. Refugees, sick young man. A group of travelers carrying bags, satchels, and sacks full of all manner of goods or chattels and chattels are shuffling their feet on the road in front of you. 
two chuffer looking men are helping one of her companions stand, a pale youth who is shivering, his face covered in sweats. As you approach, the men turn to you and glare at you. Your grace. Who are you? The man throws a glance at his, his small group. Name's Urkid. Urkid. These here are my companions. We come from the village of Lurbeck and we're traveling to Galt in search of protection. Judging by your bags, you're not just traveling, you're on the run. You see a change in his eyes, and he gives her a cold, even wicked look. And if it were so, your grace, it's more risk to stay in the barony than go into the wilds. Three folk torn to pieces in our village, and even more were slain by the beasts that came out. Galch has to be safer, they say, and I say we go see for ourselves. Die here, or in gold. From disease or by the sword, a bit sooner or a bit later, our earthly lives are filled with choices. But what change truly comes from them? Yeah, so this young fellow, what's wrong with him? Oh, Verdren, you mean. Must have eaten something. He was fine to see, then felt sick, fever and all. And in the morning he began to cough blood. At us are willing, he'll make it to the border and we'll find him a healer there. Verdrin gives a few deep, muffled coughs. The feverish glint in his bloodshot eyes, the glow of his cheeks, the distant look on his face. You see, you've seen this before. This is what the unfortunate servant looked like moments before he, uh, a monster erupted from his body. Hmm. There's nothing you can do for him. His signs are like all the other afflicted. Any moment a monster might tear out of him. Keep your distance. Urkert pales and looks at the others. Listen up! His voice is hoarse. All back! Back! Behind the Baron! I'm sorry, Verdrin. I have to think of others as well. It's just a fever! It's just a little bit of a cough! Oh yeah, next level we are going to get a third attack, which is nice. We should go lawful neutral. Because I don't want a neutral good, chaotic good. We need to be lawful. Urkid's hands are shaken as he turns to face you. His voice raises to a shout. Cursed lands! Cursed baron! It's all your fault! Verdrin died because of you. We're all going to die because of you. Hey, you survived because of me. I protect this realm for you. I fight monsters and I hear and all I hear in return is cursing and the mewling of cowards. You ungrateful, narrow-minded fools. Yeah, I guess there is no lawful good option here. Brevoy, lo Bravo, loyal traitor. I hope you die in a ditch, Baron. Hey, I'm not going to be able to protect you if you leave for gold. Turn back, and inside the capital, you'll find protection from the beasts. You'll at least save people who can be still saved. The wrath on his face gives way to disbelief. Is that so? You want to sweep us away from my neighbor's sights? He wipes away tears. It's all the same, no matter where we breathe our last. Be it away from home in a foreign land, or out on the city streets. Let us die in peace, you hear that, lads? We turn back. Okay. That sucks. No matter what we do, they're gonna be unhappy. Ungrateful bastards. Oh, there was something there. Hello. Okay. I need to catch my breath. 
So slow. More strength. Yeah. Fate. That's fine. Um, hunting is probably going to take a lot of time here. Shines, Valerie. You spend so much time polishing it. But what is the point? Your armor doesn't get any tougher. And you spend much time talking about death, even while we're still alive. I'd say you spend your time even less sensibly. I mean, at least the armor is not getting any weaker. Because if you don't care, take care of it, it's gonna rust and then it's gonna get weaker. Do you wish to enter this location? Yes, we just rested. Oh, it's straight over cape right now? Okay. Well, sorry. Was lost in thought. How long does this last? One minute per level. Okay. This is ten minutes. This is also ten minutes. This is one minute. One month per level, so ten minutes. Sure, at least. Yeah, bless, bless is fine. Let, let's actually do something like this. So Valerie's further in the front. Goblin soul, Dreyers. Serves you right. So soul that. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice little place for a fireball here. Oh yeah, if these are if these are goblins, I think we should actually kill with. Uh, Oh? Wait, what, why did it go dark for a second there? We want that. We should do protection from... from the elements. Not this one. This one. Resist energy. Resist fire. Okay. Is it, what's Valerie movement speed? 30. Amiri is 40, it's just like super fast. I feel like this would be trapped, but so. Uh... No. Flowers. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's bless. Okay. There's something here. There is something there. A dog tag. Okay. Waters. I see something. Follow if you hmm. do. Uh, let's actually have you sneak. She's really good at sneaking, yeah? Yeah. Onwards. Together. I did as you asked. Murder. You are. Your life is low. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, he actually does have concealment. Uh, what's the percentage again? Uh, 20%, okay. Honestly, I feel like I shouldn't care to give Octavia any more of wizard levels, to be perfectly honest. Because... A lot of the uh, a lot of the spells that she's actually using on high levels are not touch based attacks. Um, ranged touch attacks. So I feel like giving her giving her rogue levels and just increasing her sneak attack would be a lot more useful. Also, what's her base attack bonus right now? It's plus four. I think that would be a good choice. A red cap. I feel like this is a trap here. You can count on me! Did as you asked. I'm not afraid. This requires your attention. There's another trap here. Yeah. You know what? Spiders hate fire, don't they? What a waste. You deserved it. They're missing because of concealment. Hello. Oh shit, it's a giant slug. No! It's a giant slug! Stay behind me! Oh hey, wait, that's he just blew up. Okay. Oh I didn't realise Harem is doing a thing. You know what, just do this. Just have the one attack, yeah. I'm just gonna die, it's fine. Oh, someone else being attacked. No, Harem, just missed. Yeah, Adam got down, but he doesn't, he's not, doesn't have a uh, death still, so that's fine. Oh, that's so convenient, because they didn't, they didn't activate the strap here when they came to fight him. Done and that was done. probably a web trap, something like that. Regular side. And hold the person. Braces. Wait, do I have enough braces? I may actually have enough braces. And then our leader charged forward. Oh, catch it. The cafeteria. What's that? It is an exotic weapon that kind of sucks. It's keen. Furious. What does Furious do? When the wielder is raging or under the effect of a rage spell, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than normal. Oh, that's actually really cool. This will hurt. Oh shoot! Run away! 
You have to do a fireball. Like, I have to stand there. You have to stand a little bit closer here. Okay, this this sucks. Attack one person at a time. Tear them apart! Okay, Lindsay, do you have a melee weapon? I need to give you a melee weapon. I still don't think I can Change and this. This is where I step in. Okay, uh, everyone attack this dude. This is for you. Okay, now Your attack here. <laughs> Valerie attack here. Yeah. Oh shit, fight. attack that guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Attack here. <laughs> Who's being attacked? Lindsay? Uh, yeah, attack that too. You attack this though. Okay, very nice. I didn't expect another set of, like, another full set of spiders to, uh, to actually spawn. Yes, I'm still here. Uh, sure, do one more. Okay. No loot from the supporters, though. I do what I must. Edible moss, okay. Sword, a shock great sword. Eh. Dinosaur bones. Eleven dinosaur bones. Why do we get so many dinosaur bones here? I'm there. Feels kind of suspicious, if you ask me. To victory. No, Adam, what the hell are you doing here? What a way! Lindsay, no! Stop it, Lindsay! Shit, I forgot that you... I'll give you a melee weapon. Uh, you know what? Nah, I'm not gonna be wasting... I'm not gonna be wasting spells on these guys, because... I got to see... Ah, shit. Okay, but, well, that's the problem. You know what? You three attack this dude. The more attacks are being made against a single enemy at a time, the better. You it. You can't now, everyone stop else me. attack this dude. Slug is attacking uh, Valerie, whatever. As long as he's attacking Valerie, he's probably gonna miss. Uh, because he only ha he has a minus one dexterity. And her, wait, her touch AC is... Wait, this is not a touch AC. Oh, of course Adam got hit there. That's fine, what's this? Uh, Agile Light Pick plus three. Oh, you know what? I actually wouldn't mind giving. Oh, she doesn't. He, she can take this. He can also not take this. Uh. 
I mean, your weapon right now is a shock and thrust. It's kind of too good to actually get something else. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Lindsay was not close enough for killing. Shoot. Grotus awaits us. My skills are absolute. It's fine. Chest. Some monies. Okay. What's here? Most borders. Oh, I don't like surprises. Here. Hopefully, she can sneak there and uh, disarm the trap. Please don't see me, Chinese spider, because that would suck. I did as you asked. I'm listening. Ah, I know what. Of my Everyone, abilities. hold. Bring it. American attack this time. Because they, they're gonna have a lot of trouble trying to even hit Valerie. Because they have to roll a 20. Uh, Amelia, can you try attacking that dude? I think you can, you just have to take the flaming bath dish. Are you attack Stay here? behind me! You attack Become here. as dust! Nice. I don't want to attack this one. Actually giving the Bardish to, uh, to Amira is good, because she's a little bit further from the enemies, so she's not going to get targeted. Probably. Maybe. Done and done. Done and done. 